the ever so slightly weaker side of Magdalenette, breaking down a couple of times in this return game. Reflect back on that steered forehand return at 30-40 on the advantage court just moments ago. That's where a lot of traffic goes from opponents on bigger points. Oh, really well taken. You could hear the little shuffle of her feet, the squeak of the soles. Just getting around that ball as well as she could to give her the highest percentage chance of the early execution. That's a very high skill level, that getting the ball on the rise. Well taken. Well, Fravitova looks like the one with lots of energy, despite that two-hour 43 marathon last night in the first of our two semi-finals, where she took seven break points of 16 against Podorovska. 2-4 down in that deciding set. Won it on a fourth match point, did uh, young Linda serving. Wonderful. Fravertova seemed to run out of steam there at the back end of that really tough rally. Remember, sticky, humid conditions, 31 degrees. This is a lung buster. And she checked out of that one there very unusually. Not seen that before from Fravertova. She's normally Miss Tenacious, but Lynette, who's in great shape, saw her off there. And that was a kind of statement point from the pole. It was far fresher. Just 15 minutes on court, remember, against Katie Swan last night. One through retirement. Good first serve, though. Much needed from Fravertova. Lynette had a trio of opportunities at Love 40 to make her move first in this final, but unable to. <laughs> An immediate and very aggressive overall there from Gianluca Moscarella of Italy. Well, he definitely saw that one land on the baseline of Lynette. Not this one, the next one, I think it was, off the sort of semi-dry volley here. She was backpedalling, did well to control that. Yeah, right on the line. Good overall. Vertiver holds on for a 2-1 lead early stage of set one in this uh, showpiece on Sunday in the Chennai Open final.
time. Well, she describes her fighting spirit and giving it her all as her sort of biggest strength in her attitude. Does a pretty good job of tuning out, tuning out the noise from the media who insists soon she'll be winning a Grand Slam, all of that kind of stuff. But she hasn't set any specific ranking goals for the year ahead. She'd rather focus on continuous improvement, says Linda. Then at training one two. Oh, nicely done. Just eased it across court with the back behind. Yeah, there's been so much narrative around this uh, young Buckland for Verta. She's been primed for a, a deep. Run.